My name is Jim Up. I'm a machinist supervisor here at Platform Aerospace, where we provide uh, all CNC applications here. So we currently have CNC machines that we operate on two shifts right now. Our machines we have here are a VF2, which is a smaller machine, just a three axis. Uh, we have a ST30Y lathe with live tooling, which sets us apart from others uh, in the area, which provides us, uh, we can use mill tooling inside a lathe. We also have a VF9 that has a large travel, uh, which is 84 by 40 inches, which sets us apart from other applications around here too. Uh, we have a UMC1000 we just got from Haas. This is their latest and greatest machine. It is a large volume, full five axis machine, and it's the biggest one they make it right now. It's a machine a part that's 34 inches diameter by 28 inches tall. So for us, that's a pretty big deal compared to what we had before. So you can see here on the UMC 1000, our height is actually uh, way higher than our typical machine that we would have here. So that's what actually allows us to, to be able to machine a much taller part in here than you can a typical uh, five axis machine. Also with this here, you can see our rotation in the B axis. Um, we can actually rotate 35 to 120 degrees total, which is pretty cool, I think. Also with this machine, we bought the upgraded option for the 1000K through coolant spindle. This is gonna allow us to basically run these parts a little bit harder, but keep the coolant in there to keep chips out and also keep our tools cool so they can last a little bit longer and save us some time and money. The VF9 is actually a game changer for us because it allows us to keep all of our parts in-house versus having to outsource to other uh, companies around here. So this actually gives us a large capability of, of size and dimensions that we can machine. Um, so currently right now we have a tray in there for one of our systems and it's uh, 50 inches by 32 inches by 10 inches high. So we take a block from about 2,000 pounds down to about only 500 pounds. Uh, so a lot of chip removal but it stays busy and we keep it running almost uh, two shifts fully. With us being able to machine out of one block, one solid block, it actually uh, creates a uh, stronger tensile strength in the material itself. And also, it actually, we can do everything at one time, one operation, versus having to split up in multiple pieces. So with this large part that we're machining on the VF9 now, uh, we are actually able to save a lot of time with this uh, by purchasing unique tooling for this application. So currently right now, uh, that part used to take us about two weeks to manufacture. Now we've been able to knock it down to about a week. Uh, and really what's allowed us to do that is with custom tooling that, that we purchased, that's a 90 degree angle uh, tool. So we're able to save from us having to flip apart from basically five setups down to two setups and that's it. So programming this is a, is a major challenge for most machinists. So a big misconception with uh, machining is actually that a lot of these parts are a load and go. And that's actually complete opposite uh, of what it really is. So these machines actually require us to take a lot of time and a lot of effort into programming. If we program something wrong, we're gonna crash apart, cost us thousands of dollars and, and, and weeks of downtime. So with us, we try to do a lot of training and keep up on high standards on machining, and that way we can prevent those problems ahead of time. So we don't wanna cost us more money or do we wanna cost the customer more money either. So here at Platform Aerospace, we have a ST30Y lathe. This is probably one of my favorite machines here. What set this apart is that we have live tooling that we can run on this lathe. And actually, so a good example I usually use when I walk customers around to show them that this here, we actually, this is all one operation, one setup. So I can use the lathe, machine this all one setup, take my end milling tool from the mills and cut around here on the side, with live tool, part it off, and I have one part, one setup, and I'm done. Uh, use this application, we actually take uh, two operations, a lathe on this side, then I have to put it in one of our mills and mill the top side, where now we can do this one operation, save us time, save us cost, and uh, save us customer cost too. So here behind me we have the VF2. Um, this allows us to machine small parts in a much faster environment than such as, say the nine or the six. The rapids are a lot faster and the machining capabilities are a lot faster as well. But we're able to do little parts in a fast amount of time versus using a big machine with large capability, we don't have to do that. We can take this little machine and machine all these little baby parts. The VF2 excels at cutting speed and spindle speed is a lot higher than all the bigger machines. Actually, that saves us time because we're able to run that machine faster and harder in a smaller capacity. So currently right now, we're actually machining some handles in the VF2. This could usually be a COTS item from, uh, for another system, but for us, it has to be a custom-made part for us. So we use a lot of aerospace materials in this environment and we have to rely on traceability and that's why we have to basically manufacture this part ourselves. Um, this is not something item you can buy right off the shelf. 
and something that we manufacture custom for this door specifically. Here at Platform Airspace, with all of our machines and especially our machinists, we work directly hand in hand with our aerospace engineers so that way we can make sure we meet all those requirements for the aerospace environment.